If you like cookie decorating, chances are you've thought about or seen airbrushing on cookies, and maybe you've heard about a cookie silk screen, and maybe you've wanted to buy one to help you improve your airbrushing on cookies, but which one is the best and which one should you buy? In this video, I'm reviewing several cookie silk screens and I'm gonna let you know which one gets the best results. All right, let's go. All right, if you're here, then you probably know what a silk screen is, but maybe there's some of you that don't. So real quick, a, a cookie silk screen, like a silk screen that we use on cookies, what it does is it helps regulate the amount of airbrush color that's going on to your cookies. So it can help with underspray, overspray. It just helps your cookie airbrushing end up a lot cleaner. Now, I always recommend that you have some experience with an airbrush before you get into using a cookie silk screen is because, you know, if, as long as you, you, if you have a good base technique, then, the, then a cookie silk screen is just gonna help it and make it way better. Uh, I do not recommend just using a cookie silk screen because you are struggling so much with your airbrush. So definitely, you know, get comfortable with your airbrush and using it. And then this cookie silk screen is gonna make your cookies even that much better. I've got three different silk screens that we're gonna be testing today. We've got one by Three Sweet Chicks. It's kind of a longer one. We've got the Screen Genie. So it's this square one. It's kind of cool because you can remove the silk screen. And then we also have the Magic Stencil Screen from Cookie Countess. And these are the three that we're gonna to test today. All right, let's get started with the first one. I wanna use this Screen Genie. So I've got some cookies here ready to go. I've just got a basic white flood on here and I've got a stencil holder. I've got a mermaid, kind of a mermaid pattern here, mermaid scales pattern. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start by placing my stencil down onto the cookie. Hold on, I'm gonna line it up a little bit better here. I'm gonna place this down onto the cookie. And then what I'm gonna do is put the stencil uh, this, what is it? The screen genie. We're putting the screen genie right over top. Yeah, we want to have a little bit of, of pressure. We're going to hold kind of, I'm, I'm going to hold it down with two fingers, but right now I got to get some airbrush color in. All right, I've got some avocado color in there and I'm turning my airbrush up to high. It's going to get some spraying out here. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to put a little bit of pressure with two fingers on one side. We're going to go ahead and start. All right, so I like, I like that this is square. I like that it's easy for me to like use with one hand. Okay, my airbrushing isn't as even because I'm digging this silk screen. All right, let's see how it turns out. I'm kind of doing, doing heavier, a little bit of heavier airbrushing here. All right, moment of truth on how this one works. Now, I will tell you, I like that it's square. I really like um, these, these curved edges. They make it really easy to use. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lift up that nice lines. Okay, so it works well, like the silk screen works well. I feel like it's easy to use. And, ooh, this is gonna make it easy to clean. Look what we can do. Oh, this is actually really, really nice. This is really, really nice that we could switch out this if we wanted. So. Typically I've used it before where I just go ahead and rinse this and clean the whole thing. But I really like that you could switch out the whole silk screen itself if it gets damaged or broken and then you can still use, um, you still have the, the frame. You can put another one in there. That's awesome. I really like that. Okay, cool. So the silk screen works well. I, I like this. Let's test out the next one. We're gonna try out the Magic Stencil screen. So this is metal, which is interesting because I've never used a metal silk screen before, any silk screens I used to. So silk screens um, are also used to like print t-shirts and that kind of thing. And a long time ago in art school, I used to do that. So I've never used a metal screen before. Right off the bat, my thought is, oh man, what if it, if it gets bent? Like you have to buy a completely whole new one. And I don't know, maybe it's probably a little bit sturdier than the, than the silk screen fabric, but let's check it out. Okay, so I've got my cookie here. We're gonna go ahead and put our stencil over the top, just like we did the last one. And 
I don't know. There's not really a side. I assume that it's just whatever side works. All right. I don't feel like I'm getting as much leverage as I did with the other one with the screen genie. I feel like I need to be able to press it down with two hands, which means I don't have a hand free to use the airbrush machine. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. All right. So here we go. Yeah, so I look at like usability. Is it easy to use? Does it get good results? Is it easy to clean? Like if it got damaged, what, what would I have to do? Is it gonna cost me more money? Okay, there we go. Got some color on there. Let's see how it did. Here we're taking it off. And all right, I didn't put as heavy of color on there, but lines are really nice and crisp. Actually, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the performance of it. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, the only thing I don't love is just, I couldn't get as much leverage. I don't love that it's metal, but it does get really, really good results. So, so that's good. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to amaze your friends and family with the most awesome looking cookies they've ever seen, you are in the right place. This is the channel where deliciousness meets joy and fun with cookies. Here we'll show you how to bake cookies that look impressive, but are easy to make. So please do me a favor, like this video, please subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell and share it with your friends and family who you think might wanna join you and who love cookies too. It really helps out a lot. Anyway, thanks again. Now let's get back to the video. We are gonna try our third silk screen. Let me grab another cookie here. So this is the Cookie Silk Screen by Three Sweet Chicks. And I've had this one for a while. This is actually the first Cookie Silk Screen that I'd had. And I got it specifically because my stencil holder, this is a Sweet Sugar Bell stencil holder. And as you can see, it's adjustable. So it has you know longer edges. And I liked this size because it would fit over it. Or if I have some time, I do have some stencils that are long pieces. And so this was, this is nice because it has a bigger area. Um, so right off the bat, I like that. This is, so it's wood and it's got the silk screen um, permanently attached to the wood, which is nice. Uh, but honestly, like right off the bat in comparison to the screen genie, like if this one breaks or rips or something, then you would have to buy a whole new one. Okay, we're gonna test it out though. Let's get our stencil on there. And I wanna have the silk screen as close to the stencil part as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I like the solid frame. So I do notice that having a, um, a sturdy frame for the silk screen allows me to get a little bit more leverage to, to kind of push down a little bit and make sure that the stencil is nice and taut against, against the cookie. So that's nice. I feel like it's, it's easy to use for sure. And I feel like I've got a good setup here. Let's get some airbrush on here. All right, there we go. I'm gonna truth here, cookie silk screen. Yeah, really nice clean lines again. Performs just as well as the others, I would say. Looks really good. And it's easy to use. Uh, so, you know, really I would say in comparison to the others, I would say my favorite is the Screen Genie. Now, I really like the bigger size of this cookie silk screen, but I would say like usability wise, being able to have, you know, replace the silk screen part is really nice. You don't have to buy a whole new one. It's easy to use. I love the shape and the setup. Um, yeah, this is, I would say this one is, would be the way to go. And um, the metal one just doesn't do it for me. The metal one, it just feels, uh, it, I just don't love it, so. Yeah, that's my, that's my take. I recommend the Screen Genie. 
My second choice would be the cookie silk screen. Now, the Three Sweet Chicks does have multiple different sizes. So that is a good thing. If you're looking for a specific size, you know, the Screen Genie is only a square version, but it does hold most stencils are, are of this basic size. And so the Screen Genie will hold those. And the round one, yeah, I mean, I, I like that we've got square edges. Most stencils are have sharper edges. So the round, maybe it, maybe some people might like it, but uh, it would not be my first choice. Let's see, let's see how easy this is to put back in. Okay. I mean, you could take it out and clean it or you can just clean it as is. Okay. I wanted to get it a little bit more even <laughs> so I didn't have, oh, perfect. And you can kind of feel it. I can feel how nice and tight it is. Oh yeah, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. I love this one. This is great. All right. I hope this has helped you decide maybe which cookie silk screen that you want to buy. Let me know in the comments, either which one you have or which one you want to try. I'll check it out in the comments. If you're watching this, then you obviously love cookies. You love making them, eating them and giving them as gifts for friends and family. But do you sometimes get confused or frustrated when it comes to pairing icing and cookie flavors together? And wish someone maybe would just tell you already exactly what you need to know to get a perfect flavor match every time. Well, don't worry, I've got you. I've created a quick, simple guide to help you get the perfect blend of cookie and icing flavors every time you bake and decorate. Just go to the link in the description below this video, enter your details, and I'll send it straight to your inbox. Go grab your free copy now.